Um, my aunt used to have a hair salon in Kingston. And this is like during the height of the dance hall era. So that's how I learned how to do hair. But it was like, it was a very crazy time to learn how to do hair. Especially being a boy in Jamaica. It wasn't embraced, but it wasn't shunned. And it was like, I play football, but then I like being in my aunt's salon a lot. And she liked me being there, so I used to just be in there. And then I used to just start roller setting here when I was like seven. And people were like, this little boy, is so this boy is crazy, basically. I was like, you wanna play football? No. <laughs> It was very interesting. I mean, when I was young, it was a problem. When I was a teenager, it was like, well, he's doing it. So, let him do it. And then when I became like in my 20s, it was like, it was like something that the family loved to, to show off. But now, my family's like, I'm basically the savior of the family. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's so crazy now. It's like, you know. Basically, we get there, we pack out, we set up the station, and then we do a demo on the look that we're trying to capture. Just because some people follow rules step by step way better than if you explain it to them. Um, and then after we do the demo, we start doing the models and then I go around and like just make sure everything is good and then do certain things and certain people because at the end of the day it's, it's about my vision and how I see the hair so I have to be okay with the way how you did it. Uh, you want the French hair? No. no. You want that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you might have to use... Uh, 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 Terry, can you give her... It is calm now because we're speaking about it but it, it gets a bit crazy. That hasn't been seated. That has not been seated. I mean, I'm not sure how this show will be. It, every show is case to case. Different. But um, I have a feeling that this show is going to just be frantic for no reason. Just because we're in France and <laughs> they like to be frantic here. <laughs> So yeah, let's do it to enjoy the show. I put on, um, I put my headphones in. And I listen to "For the Fan" by Emil, and it centers me. I don't know why. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> it just does. Okay, photographer is out. Please, we need to clear and check all the looks before the show. Please exit this way. It's a very. It's it's four hours of like high stress, and I'm also thinking and like. Hey, organizing and micromanaging and like dealing with the brand and dealing with the you? client and dealing with Dyson, dealing with assistance, yes. dealing um, with things going wrong. You going to so I have to be yet? like on for four hours. So right before that, I, I need to hear some hood shit. I need to hear like something that's going to remind me that okay. I'm resilient. If I'm a bit more spontaneous and I'm not as orderly as other people because I kind of feel like my creativity has to come from a place of organic, just organic, just it has to be organic and um, I have to feel it. So I have to be around people to feel what hair works for them and you know, what mood they're in and what vibe the clothes is giving and stuff like that. So it's a bit more organic. Um, a lot of people like to think about what they're gonna do and go into it with all these thoughts, but in my experience, that never works for me. Cause I always end up doing something else. So I just, just go with the flow of what I'm feeling in that moment. And I always trust my gut. And that's what works for me. <laughs> 